Welcome to Med Talks with Medical Crib. Today I have with me Dr. Sharad Joshi, who is a principal consultant uh, pulmonology at Max Vaishali. He'll be talking about mucormycosis, why is it happening post COVID, and what are the treatments available, and how it has to be taken. Welcome, Dr. Sharad, to Med Talks. Nucor mycosis has been talked a lot and it is happening mostly in post covid patients so what is mucor mycosis or what is this black fungus all about so this is a fungal infection which is happening very often in the post covid timing when the patient's immunity is very very low all right so this is not a new thing why everybody is talking about this now is because of the increased frequency because of the number of cases now we are getting in the post covid era that is the reason everybody is talking about it it's not a new disease like the covid 19 is a new disease yeah. the first cases we got of covid 19 was in december 20, uh, 2019 but mucor mycosis it's an old disease but unfortunately because of relation with the covid because of various factors related to covid the incidence of this particular disease has increased a lot and that is why everybody is talking about it so why is it happening post covid why after post covid yeah so uh, basically you have to understand that fungus is ubiquitous so there are variety of funguses and they have their spores they have their own Uh, budding yeast or septate ch- chains, and they are ubiquitous. So fungus is everywhere. They are mostly in soil. They are mostly in biodegradable or organic decomposing material. They are there in uh, whenever there are uh, winds or there are dust storms. These fungal spores are more in the environment. All right, that you need to understand. So these fungus are present ubiquitously. They are inside our indoor environment they are outside in the soil as well as the decomposing organic material now what happens is even there are few spores of typical certain fungus which is there in our nasal cavity or in the sinuses and they are suppressed because of the common flora the friendly bacteria of our body but unfortunately during the treatment of covid what is happening is that patients are being prescribed lot many broad spectrum antibiotics they are prescribed with uh, steroids uh, their immunity is going down because of fight with the virus and there are typical cells in uh, in the defense in the immune system which are typically very very low they are getting very low in the uh, fight to the covid and that is all leading collectively in the development of this fungus and causing the disease so mucor mycosis is a disease of nasal cavity sinuses it may spread to orbit or the uh, eye cavity and then it can also ascend to the brain that is how it is happening and it is very very fatal what uh, so what are the symptoms of uh, mucor mycosis or when when a patient need to identify that i may have this and i have to get, uh, go to a doctor present perspective if you talk this black fungus or mucor mycosis in post covid patients is mostly affecting their nasal cavity their sinuses their eyes or nerve uh, the nerves of the eye and then the nervous system or the brain so whichever organ is involved or is affected by the fungus the symptoms will be according to the that particular organ involved so whenever the nose or the nasal sinuses are involved there is nasal stuffiness there can be foul smelling discharge there can be dark or brown or black color discharge from the nose there might be sneezing there might be swelling over the face and then pain which this pain and swelling might involve to the eyes whenever the eye is involved with this fungal infection there will be blurring of vision there may there might be diplopia which is like double vision or there might be in an extensive disease there might be loss of the vision of, because of the complete damage to the eye and when this fungus is ascending to the brain or cerebral the, or the rhino cerebral uh, mucor mycosis definitely there is drowsiness there is agitation there might be photophobia all these symptoms and headache these are these kind of symptoms will 
be there with nuka mycosis what is the uh, mode of transmission of uh, black fungus so transmission of fungus is definitely aerosol or air because there are spores of the fungus which are floating in the air so whenever there is dust storm or whenever uh, there is dust or um, high winds these spores can come up in the uh, or maybe suspended in the air they come up from soil they come up from the uh, organic decomposing things so these fungal spores they are trapped inside the nasal cavity they are trapped inside the sinus of uh, the nasopharyngeal sinuses now whenever the immunity goes down these spores will germinate and will form the growth of fungus all right so it is not a very infectious disease like uh, like the coronavirus which spreads from one person to other person if you don't keep uh, if you don't take care of the social distancing or covering the mask or something so it's not it's not that infective the fungus is not that much infective as a virus but the spores are suspended in the air with especially with the winds or with the dust storm and then they get deposited inside your nasal cavity or the sinuses and whenever your body immunity goes down whenever you are on high steroids they can germinate and form fungal colonies leading to disease all right sir uh, what are the treatment available for uh, mucormycosis or black fungus so when there is an infection of fungus we talk about antifungals and also unfortunately if you follow last 7 days news you can find that even from the market these antifungals are not available so because of whatever reasons the antifungals are not available and specifically for these invasive fungal infections for uh, rhino cerebral mucormycosis we need a high end antifungal most of them is uh, the two two antifungals which are actually approved for these kind of infections one of them is amphotericin b which comes in three different forms and then there is a posaconazole so these two drugs are available as antifungal treatment then there is a surgical aspect of management of mucormycosis because uh, you need to go ahead and debride or clean the nasal cavity uh, by endoscopic procedures or by open surgical procedures and whatever bones or sinuses are damaged they need to be thoroughly debrided or cleaned while uh, with the surgical uh, interventions so the treatment of mucormycosis involves both the balance of antifungal treatment and as well as the surgical intervention so uh, sir so like you said um, the treatment is amphotericin and uh, what is the what is the message that you want to convey out to the people out there about mucormycosis or black fungus which uh, people are uh, really scared of uh, also maybe because they are not also not getting the medication sometimes so uh, for the general public there are few things which they need to know it's not happening to everyone who is affected with this one and foremost thing is that black fungus is not affecting everybody who is who infect who got infected with the covid-19 or coronavirus one thing second thing the fungal growth increases with the uncontrolled sugar levels overuse of antibiotics or injudicious or unmonitored use of steroids so these things are to be taken care that you don't overuse antibiotics uh, you don't exceed the doses of steroids or you don't prolong the use of steroids because all these things will lead to increased growth of the fungus and definitely if you are a diabetic or if you are on any other immunosuppressing drugs then you need to take care of your blood sugar levels and contact the concerned doctor as soon as you suspect or as soon as you get the first symptom of mucormycosis so uh, alarming signs if you have a stuffy nose black discharge from the nose or there is blackening of your oral mucosa or tongue or palate then you definitely go ahead or you have headache and swelling over the face you go ahead consult with the ENT get a ct or the mri with the advice of doctor and then proceed for the treatment early Thank you sir for joining us